for coming Good in. Good morning. Thank it's you so nice to be here. Us. You've frightened our day, you really have. Now, I watch this with a lot of sort of, you know, cynical kind of movie critics, and to a man, they were sobbing. Good. You would just them we to sobbing. We like to break, <laughs> yeah. especially cynical men. Yeah. yeah, oh, they were, they were crying, because it is very moving. It's also a very funny film, and it is a movie about true friendship, and you really wanted, you were desperate for Drew to do it, weren't you? Oh, I absolutely yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, I wrote her, basically wrote her a love letter, begging her to do it. She did, <laughs> and it worked. I was, like, I was like, all right, I'm going to move mountains, figure this out, and... Um, she just had a baby. I she just, was not interested in working at all. I did just have a baby, so it was a very um, inconvenient time, right. and yet, I, I fell so in love with this thing that I just, I wanted to make this movie for my daughters. I have two girls, this lifelong friendship, the way it's represented, the way that this film is about how you care for yeah. someone. We had the best time in London. I'm I know. so excited to be back here, absolutely. And my daughter and her children became best friends. Oh, that's fantastic. So, and they're still best friends. Yeah. Oh, so like lovely. we travel as a family. It's like, it's so cool. And did you know each other well before this movie? We had mutual friends. Yes, yeah. but, but not- We've I mean, met a couple of times. Sure. No, now we know each other very well. I'll bet you do, <laughs> because that's what it's all about, isn't it? And we've all, I think you've got to have that friend that you can call at three in the morning. You might not ever call her at three in the morning, but you know you can. Yes, yeah, knowing yeah, that we would. it's essential in life. Yeah. I would, and perhaps have. <laughs> <laughs> but also, what I liked about the movie was she's n by no means is she a saint, Millie. She's ill. Oh, she's obviously. A cow. She, yes. <laughs> thank you. Sometimes I was thinking, for goodness sake, yeah. you, know, you wanted to shake her. She, she does some very irritating things. She does yeah. very bad she's things. She's very selfish and doesn't really think of others. You know, she's number one. But if you were at that point in your life when you're questioning your mortality, I think you have a free pass to go a bit off the rails. And she really uses it. Yeah, you, you have to face your own mortality if you're diagnosed with something like cancer. You, you, you have to. And it's an ongoing thing. It's a process. And so for a film to capture more of daily existence mm. rather than... In a very than realistic way. That's what I, so. I loved about it. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, you did the whole thing of shaving your hair you know, and all of I that just yeah. to because it is important because you kind of think well people are going through that in real life you've got to get it right yeah we did not want to misrepresent the experience of having cancer at all so that was i mean i think everybody else was really uh, concerned about how intense it might have been for me i was given a bottle of vodka which i didn't touch <laughs> i'd shaved my head five times so, <laughs> so I, I guess it's part it of feels the job quite wonderful in, in a sense yeah, yeah oh absolutely i would have done anything for this movie i love it mm. so much well, that's good, and, and it's, you can tell that. You can absolutely tell it. And although the focus is obviously on your characters, there are other important char characters there as well. The, the, the men, oh, they're not secondary characters. They're very much part of it too. Yeah, I and think how that, that affects relationships with them. It doesn't just concentrate on the two lead characters. The whole world is so fully realised, and, and you really feel like you're getting to know or every, everybody, no matter how much time they spend on screen. And we should say, although it is very moving, very emotional, it's funny. Yeah. There are, they're, they're funny women. They're yeah. the kind of women you would actually want to go out on the town yeah. and crack open a couple of bottles with. <laughs> yeah. It's a laugh. very inviting <clears throat> world. And instead of this aggressively maudlin story, it is... You it's know. not a Debbie Downer. It's completely up to Debbie Downer. And it's a celebration <laughs> of life, you know, rather than the opposite. No, and you've said it makes you go out and appreciate what you have. I think that's the main thrust of it, right? That's anyone who tells with. us that they left the theater and called the someone they loved their best girlfriend, we're like, Good. Uh, yeah, that's baby. It. <laughs> we did. That's it. That's the point no, of true, this is true. to hold on tight to those that you love mm. and 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 just give them your and seize love the in that day because so often we do, we do we get bogged down in all the minutiae of things and you forget what's the most important thing yeah. which it's is nice to be reminded family, forget sure. what a no, what a quick ride this is mm -hmm. so how long were you over here with the whole family both of you over, over here in a couple of months. So a couple of months yeah. yeah i stayed on a little bit longer i kind of didn't want to leave <laughs> contemplated living here we went we left uh, the day after we wrapped and we put the kids on the train and, and our we went, families went to paris we right we had a holiday paris. together Fantastic. and yeah. she did not she was not letting go of the character at all. Oh, it was really? really a hard transition for her. Okay. And it was amazing for me yet again to be a friend and, and watch that and see the, the physical um, effects that it was still having on her. And, and, uh, and yet we gracefully 
um, exited this beautiful story as friends in a glorious town with our children. It was Lovely. a really special time. Yeah. So I reckon you two will be will be that sort of friend that you keep <laughs> up at three in the morning. I mean, you've, you've bonded now completely, but you you have to. Yeah. I mean, I guess you do. I mean, because you need. Uh, a movie like that, there's got to be absolute trust between both of you, hasn't there? Yeah, and I'm telling you, I mean, you can't determine chemistry and you also mm. don't know how an act is going to work. And Drew was just completely open and present and willing to connect. And that's all you can hope for with, with other actors, I think. I also came there and I was like, I'm, I'm here to be with you. I love you. I believe in you. This is an honour for me and I'm going to be here literally to like have your back and I can't wait to watch you do this like I'm so <laughs> excited and there's just there's such a goodness and we got mm. lucky because one of us could have been less giving or more yeah I'm sure it does <laughs> fair, fair share of that but not in this film mm -hmm. definitely not in this film so you should be really proud of it thank you yeah, yeah you, so you, you should you really should